Hello and welcome to another video. I know personally that making decorators and typing them is a big pain in the butt. Uh, and I actually did a video on typing decorators properly and I'll link that in the video. Uh, but I'm going to show you a much easier, easier way to get a properly typed decorator in today's video. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm going to first show you the pain that is making a decorator factory today. Um, I'm going to run through this really quickly because I already did a video on it, uh, but I'm just going to show you how much boilerplate goes into making a decorator. Uh, we're going to making we're going to be making a very simple timing decorator, uh, which is going to take a name. The idea being like you could generate a span in some sort of system like that. So give it a name. Uh, and this is going to be used like this. So let's say g dot timing or something like that, and we'll make a silly function like this. I don't know, x to the x, big old slow thing here. Okay, so we have to implement our decorator that's going to take in a string and or decorator factory because it's going to take in a string and then return a decorator. So from typing import callable, we're probably also going to need type var and param spec. And so this is going to be, it's going to return a callable that itself takes a callable uh, with a particular shape. And then it's going to return that callable or a new callable back with the same shape, er. Uh, so already off to a bit of boil up <laughs> right there. So this is going to be the timing decorator which is going to take in function, which is callable PR to callable PR to spec P and R equals params, oh no, type var. Type var R, P being the params spec, R being the return value. Uh, then to implement our decorator, also I have a square bracket missing here. Oh, no, I can't see it. Anyway, uh, func tools dot wraps func to implement our actual decorator timing deck impl, and this is going to take star args of p dot args and star star quargs of p p dot quargs quargs, and that's going to return r. Uh, you can't see the r, but trust it's there. Almost there. Now we need to actually implement our decorator. Uh, going to use time.monotonic p0 equals time.monotonic and try return func star args star star quarks and get our end time t1 and let's just print a log uh, you would probably actually use some sort of logging system but uh, for the sake of uh, this we're just going to do something very simple like this Okay, then we need to return timing deck impl and then return timing deck. And I think we have a function, functioning decorator here. I probably forgot to import func tools. Um, but let's actually try this. So if we call g of 10, uh, and let's actually reveal type of g10 as well, just to make sure that our decorator forwarded along the types properly. So let's set up a virtual env. Install MyPy, and we'll run MyPy on that file. Okay, so that works, but holy, holy, this is a lot, a lot of junk to write just to get a relatively simple timing decorator here. And if we run it, it should crash on the reveal type, but you'll see that we actually get our uh, timing out here. Great, so it works. This is what I used to do, uh, and this is a whole bunch of work. But it turns out there's a much simpler way to do this without having to remember all of this param spec and type var and all of that. Uh, and the way to do this is actually to turn this decorator into a context manager. <laughs> uh, now, I know what you might be thinking, oh no, now we have to write a context manager. That's going to be way more work. Uh, but it turns out uh, a context manager, in my opinion, is a lot easier to write and a lot easier to type. Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted. Paste that here. Uh, so we're actually going to take the guts of the code that we had before, this t0, t1 thing, uh, and we're going to make a context manager. And this is still going to take in the same name, and we're actually going to uh, just yield here instead of calling a function. And so this is going to yield a generator of none, 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 and we're, we're doing the easy context managers. Contextlib.contextManager. 
Um, we just de-dent this. And that's it. I didn't have to deal with any of the decorator stuff uh, or any of the pram spec or callable or star args, star star quarks. This is it. This is all you have to do to make a decorator. Now, I know that I said decorator, but we made a context manager. A cool side effect of contextlib.contextManager is it actually makes both a context manager and a decorator. So you can use this in either case. Instead of calling timing here, we can call timing underscore CTX. And if we import generator, because I think I forgot that. Tor. Uh, yeah, just that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and we run this. You'll see that it still produces the same logging output as before. And if we type check this, you'll see that it still passes along the types properly. Uh, and the cool thing about this is I can now actually use this this decorator uh, as a context manager as well. So if we wanted some additional span in here with timing ctx something dot else, maybe we get time dot sleep point two. Let's actually remove the reveal type at the end because that's a little bit annoying. Um, we can actually reuse the same decorator and context manager as both forms at the same time. And you don't have to write all that decorator uh, <laughs> nonsense here. So you can see, see here we get our uh, nested log lines. So yeah, I'm definitely going to try and write fewer decorators and write more context managers because uh, this thing is great magic that makes it really easy to, to do all of this. Uh, now you might be wondering, how does this context manager thing actually work? And I actually did a video on that that I will link in the description. Uh, but basically it returns an object that also has a call and the call figures out whether it's being called as a decorator or being called as a, as a context manager. So it's got, it's got smarts built into it that knows which, you know, this, this call is double under enter and this calls double under call. So a uh, little bit different and it can specialize both of those. And it can turn this generator into basically this code up here. Uh, which is pretty nice. Anyway, hopefully you found that useful and uh, this, you know, <laughs> way easier to write, way easier to reason about. So I think this will make some nicer decorators in some places. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have additional questions, you can leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.